I have so many curiosities about being in school together and having that lineage, that shared lineage, and then mm. creatively, what are the things that echo that are similar? And what are the things that echo where you feel like you just have the freedom to go off and be yourself? Mm. Um, uh, to start. I, I'll start. Uh, I, we did have, we were um, in school around the same time, but I am two years, I think, mm -hmm. above, was older, uh, two years ahead of Leslie. Mm -hmm. um, and I was thinking of this today when I was thinking about this talk that um, there, uh, Leslie stuck out to me because she was another out of uh, state student. And there weren't that many um, out of state students. It was mostly in state. There was maybe like one in a class. Um, mm -hmm. So I definitely, uh, that's what I remember for sure. Um, and then we had a lot of mutual friends in the class between us. Um, and so our, our, we overlapped in class um, and then through those friendships and those friendship circles. And that continued even after, like when we left school in New York with like Darren and Andy and Abby and everyone. Yeah. Um, but I was trying to remember if we were actually ever in a piece together. Yeah, I was thinking of that too. And mm -hmm. the, the only like large <clears throat> group piece that I remember, there were a lot of people from like all different um, years was uh, when Carolina Garcia came to uh, um, set an Urban Bushwoman piece. Uh huh. And there was, there, I mean, I remember with um, Pinky was in there uh -huh. <laughs> and, <laughs> um, and it was like me and Muffy were like the only freshmen in that piece. And there was just like, like seniors and juniors and sophomores. And I remember there was, um, yeah, there were just a lot of people that I didn't know. And that was like a really great introduction into everybody in the department because it was like a cast of like 20 people. Were you uh -huh. in that? I was not in that one. Not in that one. Okay. Yeah. That's the only one I think that I was like, cause we only had two years. Right. So that was like my that big overlap. freshman year breakthrough. <laughs> um, were you ever in like uh, Luke Vanier's pieces or the Bolero piece? You were in Bolero. You were in Bolero. Yeah. Okay, so we were in that together. We were in Bolero. That's great. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. You know, um, I ran into, um, speaking of like strange connections, so Amber and I, yeah, as you said, um, it continued after college as well. When I first moved to New York, my first apartment was like two blocks from Amber's place, oh. and, um, Park Slope. And um, we saw each other often in the neighborhood. Um, and, oh yeah, speaking of running into people, this is like a side note, but I ran into Luke and uh, Elizabeth yeah. in December. In Sedona, oh. in a crystal That's shop. That's random. Whoa. <gasps> How random. <laughs> it was so completely random. I, there, there was like, it was dead out. It was, everything was closing. Like the guy was locking the door right as I, I left and there were two uh -huh. people walking by and it was like, <laughs> oh my goodness. That is so, <laughs> so the, funny. The, the, the universe of Illinois like family is like vast and deep and wide yeah. and extends very far, but I think it's really interesting that you and I have, you know, been in New York a long time and have remained in this, in this scene and this um, mm -hmm. circle of friends for a long time. And actually like our work has like, you know, professionally, we haven't overlapped um, very much also. Yeah. So we, we definitely have taken like our own paths mm -hmm. um, in terms mm -hmm. of like uh, working as performers, other yeah. people's work and then showing our own work so mm -hmm. yeah and you will share a stage it will happen yeah. yes it will happen it will happen, it will happen. <laughs> yeah. um is there i mean i 
I will, I will move away from this lineage thing soon. Um, but well, we can just reminisce the whole, the whole I know. conversation. It's fine. <laughs> I think something that I was thinking about is, um, so like in where, where I went to school, everyone had the same first level ballet, ballet teacher. Mm. Um, and that teacher said some pretty crazy things that stick with you. Mm. And I feel like college is a time where you're, you are starting to know who you are and who you might be in this world, but there are still so many questions. You're still kind of malleable to being molded as a performer and as an artist or being set free. Is there, um, is there anything that sticks out? Well, one of that the uh, professor might have said that you're carrying with you. One of the things I thought was interesting about the program, and I don't know if this is similar with other undergraduate programs, but at that time, your sophomore year, you basically had to re-audition, and they called it your sophomore mm -hmm. review. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it was basically you had to re-audition and petition to why you wanted to stay in the department and continue on to get a BFA degree. Wow. Um, and that was really challenging because you really had to confront those questions. It wasn't just like, oh, I'll just, you know, go to college and figure it out. They were like, no, you, you really have to decide to be here. And um, mm. it was, and, and that was the first time I think we had one-on-one -on -one really intense uh, feedback sessions with everybody on, on the faculty, which was extremely intimidating <laughs> um, to just be like on the other side of like a very long table. Um, and, uh, and I think that is where I, I got some of the most helpful, ruthless, honest, mm -hmm. life-changing um, advice that changed my dancing. Um, and uh, yeah. So that was that for me. That was that was the moment where I was like, "Okay, like, here we go." Um, yeah. Well, that's an intense. That's an intense. It sounds like a really powerful um, tool for everyone involved to have that. Totally. And it's not. Yeah. It's not just um, a formality. Like people do decide on their own that they don't want to continue, mm -hmm. or they decide together. Um, so yeah, it's, it's intense. <laughs> I don't know, what was your experience like, Amber? Um, I didn't remember the sophomore review being that, um, it didn't have much that, that big of an impact on me, I think, because I um, have always felt that this is the career path I, I wanted to go in. Um, so it wasn't a question of, if I wanted to continue, because I knew the answer was yes, but it was more that the, um, you know, you go, you come from uh, smaller studios, you know, across the country, um, where you're usually probably like the, the, the higher tier of your studio, and then you go into this big department where there's so much competition. Um, and it like while I, I did perform a lot, I definitely wasn't like um, the person in the department that got all of the roles easily. Like I remember having to like really fight mm -hmm. for uh, you know time and you know the skill of how to audition. And um, I. I always knew that choreography was interesting, was as a, an interest to me because I studied it in my school, my studio growing up. Um, so I definitely took that route more in school. Like I would do a lot of my own mm -hmm. choreography and audition it for the student uh, concerts and stuff. And then when I moved to New York, I kind of, those roles reversed for me because choreographing and make you in your own work is is so challenging um like financially and everything and so um i 
I, yeah, I went into more of like a, a dancer role, which I feel like was a different experience from um, mm. school. Um, that didn't quite answer your question, Melissa, about a particular teacher or whatnot. Um, but, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like it sounds like the um, the review and the questions and and it is. I mean, Amber, what you said is interesting because how you identify when you're younger as to what your ideal path is, and then what you start to find when you're at a university level, and the things that you can start to dig into, Leslie, that you were talking about, like changing, being able to change your dancing from the directness of a conversation is really powerful. Um, and then to get spit out the other side and to realize that maybe allowing yourself to be a dancer for a while longer is, is a strong path. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that seems like um, somewhere in there we've kind of created some advice for students going to college for dance, but I'm, I'm not sure <laughs> exactly how we can uh, range that out for them. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, for the most part, like I loved the, the school. I, I, I mean, yeah, there were times I was completely devastated if I didn't get a role or whatnot. But mm -hmm. um, I mean, it was a huge university. Um, but my graduating class was 10. So I felt like I had the best of both worlds, like an intimate experience, um, a really challenging experience, but also um, like a, a bigger campus. And I think um, there was something so special about kind of the intimacy of the department in that way that has kept all of us friends, like, you know, mm -hmm. um, that we that we keep in contact and we, we keep kind of in touch and supporting each other. So. Yeah, I mean, it sounds, it sounds to me like there is something, there is an extra bound that seems to work really well at that school in particular, because I know a lot of the people, like I know Darren and I know a few of the people that you guys went to school with. Mm -hmm. And I see why those bonds or in those people, I see why those bonds would continue to stick. They're good, good humans who are beautiful movers. Mm. Yeah, for sure. Um, so we have, we have about 15, 10, 15 minutes left in our time. Um, what in your shared show together, um, do you, is there something that you think, well, I don't know, is Darren, is Darren in your work? Uh, yes. Leslie? Darren yes. is in your work. Yes. Okay. Oh yeah. So I was just going to yeah. say, I <laughs> love that. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to take over. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. D Darren has also been in my work too, but it's been many, many years. <laughs> he's, a, he's a very popular in-demand dancer. So it's hard to, hard I know. To get it's him. hard to nail him down. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, he's so in demand that he's this, he's like one of the stars of this, this podcast interview and he's not even here. <laughs> um, so I guess, the, well, I was using Darren as an, as an example, but I was thinking of if somebody who um, knows the department, is, do you feel like there's do you feel like there's something in what you make that shows your training that you trained in a similar space? Um, I, I mean, I, I haven't seen a, a ton of, of Leslie's work. Um, and I think her similar with, with me, which I think was what we were so excited about to kind of yeah. see where each other was at the mm -hmm. moment. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if the, if the answer to that question, but I think 
um, not having seen it, I think I would say that there's such a um, rigorous investment of like physical um, and intellectual um, investigation in whatever you're doing. So it's so um, like the work is of the body, but I think there's also like questions that we're each like really intensely investigating. Mm -hmm. um, so while it's not about the same thing, mm -hmm. um, that kind of like, um, you know, coming from U of I where it's like several technique classes a day and a lot of composition and questioning and, you know, like I feel like we were both definitely influenced um, to, to keep up that rigor, I would think. Mm -hmm. What I would guess. Yeah, I, 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 one of the things that I was thinking of going back to the this other question of um, like our training was like, and thinking about, I think that's when I really started to understand what it was like to to work with someone. So when mm -hmm. when I did get cast in whatever role or w w whatever dance work, and just to be in a room with someone creating mm -hmm. was really influential on my process and my thinking and my um, understanding of how you can investigate movement um, and marry that with or separate that from concept and um, and I think those experiences being in a studio practice being in a rehearsal setting and then also trying it on my own when I made my own works in college and then being able to apply it and then go back to like a professor's process um, I think is something that we share for sure because that uh, because it was as you said like a, a conservatory in like a big 10 school so it, it was mm -hmm. really intense but we could also take you know psych 101 or something you know like it was <laughs> the whole university was at our, our at our disposal but we still had a really intense um conservatory like uh curriculum mm -hmm. um that was really immersive and i think that rigor as you say and the perhaps stubbornness or tenacity that we're still here <laughs> so many years later despite yeah, yeah. everything um, and still making work and still trying new things and um, um, and you know still creating is is something that I think we possibly picked up together there mm -hmm. yeah and all of the professors were actively still making work. Mm -hmm. So while occasionally they would bring in, you know, pieces like master rep pieces for us to do, uh, we were often in the, um, in like working with, you know, um, active artists, you know, the professors that were actively continuing their work. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so that there, kind there of wasn't, like, sorry. Yeah. I was just going to say that kind of, keeping up with the uh like that kind of staying power of like you know um cynthia oliver and sarah hook and now tara connor's there these people that are have just been in the industry industry for so long and we see that and we just see the work that it takes to kind of stay with it mm. yeah and i was just going to comment that it was like all new work there wasn't a lot of rep there yeah <laughs> but they would bring in like those guest choreographers to you know I remember very distinctly um, the Esplanade ex experience. Mm. <laughs> the Paul Taylor company came in and that like just everybody just sort of like was in a tizzy over, <laughs> <laughs> over this. Um, and we, you know, Mar Mark Morris is like still in residence there. And yeah. um, I remember there was a residency with Ralph Lemon there my freshman year when he was mm. working on his trilogy and mm. um, you know, the just being exposed to all of that was amazing. But when we were cast in a, a, a professor's work, it was, it was new work. And that was, that was really exciting, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I think that there is also, there is something to rigor and tenacity and 
continuing as an artist in New York City and you are both doing that and you're both doing it with a lot of um, holding on and continuing and creativity and continuing to kind of break open what you see as your own, you know, I'm making this work. Now can, now how I, can I make the, the next work that is different and, you know, um, breaking your own boundaries as it were. Um, and it, and so it reinforces, I think with, um, you know, knowing someone like Amber for this long is like, seeing you still at it is inspiring in a way that, you know, I hope I can be for you or other people too, is like, you know, one of the ways that, one of the most consistent ways that I engage with Amber's work is every September for the Dance Now Festival at Joe's Pub, mm. those little five yeah. minute tiny stage dances. And it's, it's pretty much like every year. And, and I love that. <laughs> I love yeah. that it's like a, it's a, cons I mean, it's a great that it's a consistent gig. Um, mm -hmm. Hopefully 2020 is not no different. Um, right. And uh, yeah, just like seeing you show up all the time is, is great. It's really inspiring. So yeah, it, it just keeps like cycling, cycling back. Mm. Yeah. Thanks. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I just, there's just so many emotions and thoughts because of yeah. the situation we're in and the I feeling know. of it, the creativity being like, uh, muffled or, you know, postponed. It's just like, there's just a lot of emotion with that, mm -hmm. which I'm sure we're all feeling. Yeah. Yes. Have you, um, have either of you considered moving your rehearsals to this kind of experience or is that something you're exploring? I, um, I've thought of it. Um, I don't, I was going to see, you know, how long this stay at home will be, um, because I will, I will definitely move in that direction if need be. Um, mm -hmm. and I think it could add an interesting, um, you know, dynamic to the process because I'm work I'm starting to work on something new. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, there's something so magical about being in the same room with people and moving. So it's, it's just different, you know. I'll do it if, if need be and, and hopefully it's not too long until we can all be together again. <laughs> right. Yeah. Be in space together. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm still new to this. I, it's hard to, it's hard to conceive, um, of, uh, yeah, what that would be like. And this piece with Darren has had, um, we've, we've gone through like some deep investigation periods and I was kind of looking forward to kind of like cracking open another one. Mm -hmm. Um, but it is in person. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and because uh, uh, the last time we did that, a lot of things were revealed mm. in the process of being together. Mm. But um, in like a larger sense, I, I feel like I'm focusing a little bit more on doing some solo work. So mm. um, right now it's a lot of writing and thinking and reading and <laughs> mm -hmm. all those other things that you can do. Um, without, you know, knocking into furniture or annoying, <laughs> annoying your right. partner or yeah. Um, whatever. Right. So yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of, as you said, it's like, it's anxious being in this holding pattern and just having everything be in this status of postponed. Um, mm -hmm. cause I don't know what that means anymore, but um, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm also like adaptable and that's part of our job, I think, as artists, and we'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like the conversations that are happening right now are full of um, you know, cre creative problem solving and possibility. And I would say that one of the energies behind postponement is an extreme, at least from my point of view, is an extreme point of hope. 
that um, that what we do is important and what we do has um, value beyond even the moment of performance and creativity. So um, I feel like part of that, the word postponement feels uh, trapping a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. But I feel like what we're really saying is we're like, we're looking up and looking forward to a time where we can create live performance live and in front of people. Mm -hmm. Um, it is fascinating, though, Leslie, to what you said, that there is time to go deeper into process in, from the writing perspective or the thinking perspective. Um, for, for me, usually there's writing and thinking and then jumping up and you know, bumping into furniture. But mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so, yeah, where, where it's the balance and, you know, can you walk out onto the sidewalk? I've been thinking about going out into a park and seeing what happens if I'm the crazy lady dancing outside. Yeah. Or rooftop. <laughs> right, yeah. rooftop, rooftop, rooftop dancing. <laughs> no, no taking inside and then rooftop dancing. Yeah. <laughs> I've, been, uh. I've been trying to um, kind of find ways to look at this uh, with gratitude or like the, the, the benefit of it instead of the what it's taken away because it's you know there's so many gigs and performances that it's taken away so it's mm -hmm. it's easy to fall into that rabbit hole um but i think it's uh even though we all enjoy what we do sometimes it feels it can feel tedious like ah oh, to go to the rehearsal i have to do this i have to be productive i have to like i have to make 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 and um and taking like having force time away from it, kind of reignite your passion and kind of like remind you like, oh yeah, I really want to be in that studio. You know, I really want right. to be working. Um, so I feel like it's a, it's a positive as a, as a way to kind of light the fire and we're all going to be itching to, to make when this is over. <laughs> yeah. 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 There may be, who knows, there may be some Big dances, like yeah. dancing. <laughs> There's yeah. been a lot of standing still and doing stuff for the past yeah. couple of years. So, like, yeah. dancing, man. Yeah. Dancing with other people. Yeah. That's going to be like. exciting. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Um, okay. Well, so I think we are we're close to our time. Okay. Um, okay. Thank you both. Yeah, this um, was fun. I feel like I could just keep chatting. That went by quick. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's also like, I'm thinking like, why this should be, I like that this is part of <laughs> our shared evening because otherwise it would have been like dress or tech that we would have, you yeah. know, like yeah. we would have all come together. So it's, it's nice to kind of have this um, precursor to when we will do the show. <laughs> yeah. Right. For sure. Yeah, Leslie, I would have met you at your tech. Yeah, that's crazy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's true. It's true. I do feel like there is kind of a niceness to being able to be in conversation about some of the yeah. whys. Because, um, you know, Leslie, you and I had been in conversation about the possibility. Yes. And then that date was possible. <laughs> and then I was in the museum with Amber. Oh uh, yeah, and that, wait, I didn't hear that part. I'm yes, just, oh. so this is how this happened. So I was in the museum with Amber, and I said, "Well, you know, Leslie wasn't available," and and Amber said, "Amber like lit up," and she said, well, "You know, Leslie and I went to school together. That would be amazing." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. And then I said, "Well, let me see if these new dates work. That would yeah. be awesome." And they did. And they did. They did. Oh, yeah, thanks. that's yeah. great. So, so now we have a locked in partnership here yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs>